Hey YT, it's your girl Shanisha Marie, long time no see. I hope everyone is having a great Sunday today and today is April 22nd, 2012. So I guess you guys have been wondering where I've been. I really have missed everyone but I have been on YouTube um, watching other videos and leaving um, positive comments um, to the videos that I have been watching and um, I kind of been MIA because um, uh, I was a little like depressed and I felt like I was letting some of my viewers down and living life and, and dealing with um, life circumstances and as some of you may or may not know um, I got engaged and um, was working on the relationship and so that's kind of where I've been and I will update you on a lot of things today as far as my weight loss progress um, I will also like to show you guys um, a small haul that I just did um, in this video and talk about uh, maybe my relationship status I don't know I'm not sure right now but anyway let's get straight to what you guys want to hear so to my new subscribers welcome 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 to my channel um, at my at the beginning of my journey uh, my highest weight was 345 pounds and on the day of my actual surgery, um, which was October 27, 2010, um, I was 330 pounds. And at the time of my last video, I was 195 pounds as of January 1st, 2012. And my current weight today is 188.0 pounds so yay <laughs> I'm happy I'm still on my journey you guys and I'm happy about that even though I have not reached my goal as of yet which is 150 pounds would be my BMI that uh, weight that my doctor would like me to be at um, I'm still on that journey to achieve that goal and I would like to get there even though I'm starting to think maybe I would like to stop at 160 but we'll see um, I've never uh, well I haven't been this small um, probably since I was 12 years old so I'm still on the journey of learning me in this new body and going through all these experiences um, with my weight loss journey um, I can't say that I have it mastered and down to a science because I don't because each increment of the weight loss and um, every month that goes by I learn something new um, about my journey um, and for those who don't know I had the gastric vertical sleeve surgery so let's go back to January 1 where I left off uh, 2012 I was 195 pounds and um, I got like the flu probably two weeks after I made that video and at my lowest weight at that time, I had got down to 192. I couldn't keep anything down, not even liquids. Well, from that point on, um, from February and March up until just recently, my weight kept fluctuating from 195, 194 all the way back up to 200 but it kept kind of just really going from 194 to 197 I just kept going up and down and you guys I was embarrassed um, I wasn't understanding like you know again I kind of have my stalls down to a science that they're not really stalls 
you know it's just when I'm ovulating I tend to eat more when it's at that time of the month and I'm going to at least put on five pounds um, depending on what I eat and how often I eat you know I kind of know that process and even uh, going to underland I thought hey you know my body's trying to adjust to being in the hundreds now and um, you know I didn't want to sweat it but then when the third month came around and I'm you know still teeter-tottering from you know 194 to 197 going all the way back up to 200 of course I started panicking what's wrong you know I'm still doing everything that I'm supposed to I'm, I'm not snacking I'm not eating the wrong foods um, you know it, it becomes a mind game and then I think along with the mind game you have the the mind game of uh, um, head hunger yeah um, head hunger so in my process of going through all that mental gibberish is what I want to call it as long uh, as well as a lot of stuff going on in my personal relationship um, I still was watching other youtuber videos um, and I do want to shout out a few um, that kind of helped me get to where I am right now uh, Slim Down Diva I'm not sure how many youtubers watch her channel um, but she's a beautiful young lady who me and her almost identically have the same body type except for her breasts um, are a little bit larger than what mine used to be um, but we both carry our weight in our midsection in our stomach area and she made a decision to lose weight with just diet exercise portion control and eating the correct foods and she looks amazing and she is a big inspiration um, to watch and a big inspiration for me because she's doing it and we're like neck and neck and I you know I opted to have the surgery but I have medical reasons and she's young enough to wear you know it's working for her she still has time to do it on her own and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with um, weight loss surgery because I'm very grateful for it I probably would not be here um, making this video today if it was not for weight loss surgery so I don't want anyone to get the wrong idea but for all the years that I tried to do it on my own I think you know if you can do it on your own that's amazing so shout out to Slim Down Diva uh, keep um, being a major inspiration to the weight loss community um, in general and I appreciate your videos and you sharing your journey um, and you look beautiful doll baby you really do so please keep it up and uh, my second shout out would be to KK uh, one of her viewers um, asked her a question about being in a stall and one thing that stuck out that KK said was like you know I don't get on the scale you know every day because it'll uh, play games with your your mental status and I'm guilty of that like I hop on the scale like all day long I'm off and on off and on off and on and um, I made a choice for a few days uh, because I was just going through something uh, really frustrated with the weight and frustrated with the, uh, what's going on in my relationship and work and uh, going through my depression or whatever you know I was just really down in the dumps and by this time I was like forget the scale forget everything I'm, I just I kind of just need to concentrate on my mental health right now and once I did that, uh, the one day I did decide to jump on the scale, um, I went from 195 down to, you know, the 188 and was ecstatic. So, <laughs> um, KK, thank you for uh, giving that particular viewer uh, that advice because I watched it and I felt like it was advice for me too. Um, and I appreciate it because once 
I quit concentrating so much on the scale and my weight the weight came off along with some other things but I'm gonna try to try to share that with you um, briefly so um, so thank you KK again for your video and for the viewer who posted the question to you because it helped me on my journey to get to where I am today to where I can proudly say to you all hey I'm still on my journey I'm still losing weight and it could still work for you if you really want it bad enough um, and to miss Mia like you're my girl and I'm gonna inbox you my personal information because this summer we definitely have got to hook up I love your channel and I love you um, because you are one of the most realest people that I have seen on YouTube and I'm so sorry that your friends your girlfriends can't be happy for you um your last video about your friend and going out i watch it just because it puts a smile on my face it makes me giggle it makes me laugh like i love your personality and you know god will bless you with new friends who's not gonna care whether you was big small who you can pull, who you who you can't pull. It's just amazing how people around you change, whether it be friends, family members, about the whole weight loss. And I guess um, being on the other side of being morbidly obese, you know, you see these specials on TV where like Tyra Banks had on the fat suit, how people treated her differently. Like, you know, I would see people look at me or make comments and it just amazes me how when you go to this end, how people do treat you differently. Like people speak to you more or they're more friendly or even within yourself, you might be more friendlier because you're smiling more. You're, you're happy about, you're feeling better health-wise, you got a new swag in your step, and you know, maybe these inner personalities you had hidden deep inside are starting to blossom and come out, and um, it's amazing because I can say the same thing, like some female acquaintances, even to some friends, you know, have changed a little bit, some have changed and they're probably not going to be my friend. Some is in competition um, with me, which is like ironic, including my mom, you guys. I had to tell you a story about my mom, which is hilarious, but it's cute and I can't even get mad. But it's just so funny how um, people's weight loss really affects other people. And, and it's amazing to me because that was never my thought process. Um, before so it's not my thought process now but just to see how other people take it it's just like wow like I can't believe someone else's weight loss means that much to other people I guess is what I'm trying to say I don't know if that came out right but anyway so <laughs> um that's where I'm at you guys I'm happy that um the scale finally moved and this has only been two weeks so I have dropped about um, like I said I went from 195 down to 188 um, in two weeks so I'm very very happy I'm gonna keep it up I have not been to the gym this month um, however I have been doing a lot of walking I walk twice a day um, while I'm at work I walk um, on my lunch break and then walk again in the afternoon on my uh, evening break and then like I've been going to uh, the park in different places doing a lot of uh, walking um, just different places and um, I'm eating a lot less like my stomach has really shrunk in the last two weeks not because I chose not to eat but 
Um, well, whew, sorry you guys. Um, it's amazing how when you're depressed, and you're going through things and sometimes um, and not to get too spiritual on people but you know when God is revealing things to you about certain people in your life and you fall into the depression you know I'm thinking my depression is stemming because I was at a stall that wasn't it you guys um, my relationship my my fiance was doing some inappropriate things in my spirit I knew it and it caused me to be depressed and when everything came out fully came out it was like my depression left when um we parted ways and it was like this black cloud suddenly just was lifted off of me and so food was no longer what i was focusing in on because I felt like I had been freed. Um, so I was, I was more into me. Uh, making me happy again. And, and, and making myself, you know, have fun and getting back to me. Which is where I was before, um, you know, I met him. And it's just amazing how something so small, just by being um, single... And, and letting people go um, can release those burdens and those dark clouds and like I'm okay and we have agreed to be friends and um, I don't know what the future is going to hold for us um, I'm not God, I'm not a mind reader or a psychic, so if it's meant to be, it will work out. If not, we're still going to be the best of friends because that's the type of relationship that, that we had. And um, just because it didn't work out for us doesn't mean like I'm just going to kick him to the curb and just hate, you know, I pray for him. Um, I'm very close with his family still, extremely close, so they are even making it harder for us to kind of just like part ways, but um, that's what it is, and I'm at peace with it, you guys, um, and like I said, we're friends, so um, it's, it's, it's good, so I do want to share with you about my mom. Um, my mom, me and her built the same way. And my mom lost a lot of weight on her own. She's a diabetic. Um, my mom is 77, about to be 78. And she's off the chain, you guys. And she carries all her weight in her stomach, too. And she, her, because of her weight loss over the years, her stomach hangs really, really bad. And it, honestly, they wanted to remove it because she had a lot of issues like me with the extra stomach, um, you know, just hanging over and getting gangrene and fungus and stuff. Um, but my mom has had so many surgeries throughout her lifetime. She's disabled. Um, at the time that they did offer to do a tummy tuck and remove the, the skin and stuff, she was like, you know, I'm done with being cut on. And, you know, I've had it all this time. I might as well keep it. Well, um... I do have a referral in to talk to my plastic surgeon. Um, I haven't had that appointment just yet. 